Well, welcome back. Breast cancer affects everyone. And that's why Men Wear Pink is determined to raise awareness and money to save more lives than ever from breast cancer. That's right. Joe Breezy, our buddy over there, he's an ambassador this year, and we are joined by Men Wear Pink development manager, Tara. Welcome in, friends. Joe, welcome back. Uh, Tara, we got to break this down. Statistics, they're shocking. And we got to talk about why this is so, so important. Yes, one in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer in their lifetime, and over 300,000 people will be diagnosed with breast, breast cancer this year. So it is very important to continue to talk about prevention and mammograms. We suggest anyone that is 40 or above to get their mammogram, to talk to their doctor about family history. Um, at American Cancer Society, we um, educate people in the community. We raise funds for life-saving research. We also have an advocacy arm where we go and um, talk to people on the Hill, both locally and federally, just trying to change lives for people with cancer and their loved ones. Thank you Doing so much. great work. And as we mentioned, our friend Joe is part of this campaign. Mm -hmm. Tell us about Men Wear Pink, how it works. Sure, yeah, I'm excited to be a part of it. So um, it's basically a, um, a national campaign, but there's a strong local chapter here in, uh, here in Nashville, which is great. And uh, men like myself who are inspired to to, to wear pink and to spread the word and to raise funds and, and to do what we can. I mean, just like what, what Tara said, I mean, those stats are shocking, right? Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I'm excited to be a part of it and it's a great group of guys and we wear pink every day in October and just keep spreading the word and using our plat platforms and just kind of doing what we can do. I you love know? this so much for you, Joe. First of all, I know that you have a lot of pink in your closet, so this is easy right. for you. <laughs> well, it's salmon, it's like a light salmon. It's actually, this was actually white, but I had a red shirt that ran in the wash. Oh, it happened, it happened. <laughs> In all seriousness, yes. I know that you have a personal connection yeah, to you know, this. Correct, yes. My, um, so the, the first experience that I ever experienced death, unfortunately, was somebody that was close to me that experienced breast cancer. And I was just a child, but it was, it was my third grade teacher, and that was the first person that I saw uh, that I kind of that I knew personally that I was close with at that time um, and she got diagnosed and unfortunately lost her battle and since then I mean um, there's just been so many people that have been in and out of my life and you know same thing with my wife that that we know that have been uh, directly affected by it whether it's them or an immediate family member and all that stuff um, yeah and with what I do for a living and working with you guys I'm very fortunate where I do have a platform so um, yeah I'm excited to uh, yeah to raise some funds and raise some awareness and here we are Yes. And we're very fortunate for Joe and people like himself that step forward in the Nashville community to raise funds and awareness for breast cancer. Yeah, it's touched so many of us in various ways. Joe, I know you have a lot of fun events coming up and yes. ways that we can support you starting tomorrow. Right, that's right. Ain't no party like a breezy party, so we got to do what we can. Um, so tomorrow at ML Rose uh, in Capitol View, which is very great, from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m., um, if you show the flyer or if you just kind of bring up, uh, you know, my name or the Men Wear Pink campaign, 20% uh, of the food and drink sales go towards the campaign. Awesome. Um, yeah, which is very cool. So we're going to be out there having dinner and um, just kind of hanging out and having some fun. And then uh, the big turn up is going to be Sunday. Yes. Danielle and I are hosting kind of a Sunday fun day hang at JBJ's Bar in Nashville. And we're very gracious to them, very grateful for them. So, um, yeah, that's going to be great. 25% of food and drink uh, sales on Sunday uh, within our group and you, the viewers, Viewers at home are obviously invited as well. Uh, goes towards the campaign directly affecting um, and doing what we can to, to help prevent and to finally end breast cancer. So mm -hmm. it's going to be a fun day. Um, yes. Just a, a good time for a great cause. Yeah. And uh, anytime you can c combine fun for a great cause, right? You know, We're you got to be excited. <laughs> ain't, ain't no party like a breezy party. I love that picture of Danielle with the little flower in her hair. That's precious. Love. I do want to ask okay, so let's say we can't make it sure. to the events. How do we donate to our pals campaign? Because we want to support you. Um, there's a QR code, which is very cool. So if you, if you feel inspired and feel you want to help my campaign slash the American Cancer Society's campaign directly, um, you can check that out. There's the QR code right there. Um, Tara, they can also hit, hit up the website, I assume. Yes, you can go to menwearpinknashville.org and donate there as well. Great. Love the pics. Love the cause. It's going to be fun. Thank you for using your platform. Absolutely. Yes. Thank you Happy. both. Appreciate you. Help Joe out and give back to the American Cancer Society. You saw that QR code. Get your phone back out. Make a donation to change the life of women in our future. Thank you.